Hey guys, what is up? It's Seb here with Leading Man Attraction and in today's video, I'm very excited to be bringing to you my full reaction and breakdown of what is probably the most well-known and most famous infield out there on YouTube. Now, if you're new here and you've never seen me before, my name is Sebastian, I'm a dating coach and I bring you kind of infields of my own approaches as well as some reactions to some new infields like today as well as some advice on pickup in general. In today's video, the infield we're going to be watching is Coach Kyle's four minute infield approach. Uh, it is a night game approach and he picks up the goal very, very quickly. And to be fair, he does so many good things here that it's crazy. It's it's such a great pickup approach and you know there's so many things that you can learn here so today i'm going to be breaking it down uh each minute so every minute i'm going to pause the video and tell you what happens why it works and why you should be learning this kind of stuff and implementing it into your own game uh whenever you can because obviously right now i've got covid so in different parts of the world you might be locked down like i am here in the uk so you can't really do anything but in other places you can approach girls and you can do pick up so so this is really the way to go so um i love this infield i kind of sometimes go back to it because it is so good and uh and yeah let's go right into it and as we go along i'm gonna just pause it and then break it down for you a little bit all right so let's go Is this a last ditch attempt to find a girl? No. Yeah? No, you can go. I, I know I can go. I just thought you were cute. I wanted to say what's up. That's cute. all. Oh, I'm cute. I thought you were cute. Yeah. But, like, where are you from? Morris you're County. From? Okay. 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 What about you? If you're, like, from? super far, then, like, no, I... from. Great body language, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, let me ask a real question. So you How carry a gun you? or older than you, baby? Yeah, um, um no, I look wrong. Really young. I'm 29. Wrong. Look at his body language, how relaxed he is. His tonality is on point. So you, you're, what, six months older than me? Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, what? why Why are you um, trying to pick up a girl in the parking lot? I know I'm cold. I just like your look, and we were making good eye contact for a while. Right, so minute one, okay, straight away his energy is just on point, right? He's super relaxed, he's comfortable in this situation, he's not trying really hard, he's not really throwing himself at the girl, even though he is extremely close to her. And uh, this sort of game works during the night because it's a social venue and uh, girls are more open to guys picking him up, right? So she knows what he's doing okay and let's face it she's attracted to him straight away because she's not moving away uh she's very much open to his approach you know she grabs his hand at the beginning she uh, initiates the verbal communication between them and she's not moving away she's touching him he's touching her a little just vibing you know just feeling each other out where they are and he's calibrating very well now in the first minute of this interaction he faces two shit test and i've actually noted them down so uh the first one is you know is this your last dish to find a girl and he uh he says uh no you can go right like he he's not trying he's not justifying himself or what he is doing right so when you face a shit test the last thing that you want to be doing is really justifying it so it really depends on your tonality it's that simple and actually made a giggle as well because he didn't give a fuck about that that shit test right he passed it up uh, very easily by just addressing it and just ending it so he didn't he didn't continue with it he just passed it very quickly very easily by addressing it and staying calm and composed okay another thing that he attempted was going in for the kiss and uh, she kind of moved her head to the side and a little bit back and he did the same so he just moved away a little bit but he stayed he stayed close he didn't move away his whole body right and uh and he didn't start justifying anything like apologizing uh for trying to kiss her and really stepping back and making the entire thing very uncomfortable for both of them you know he stayed close he just looked away for a moment continued to talk like it didn't even happen so you know if you do go for for a kiss and the kiss doesn't happen because the girl just pulls away a little bit or she looks away right just continue with the vibe right she's just not quite ready yet she's not rejecting him here because she doesn't step away or she doesn't say what the fuck right so she's not not down okay so she's not rejecting him 
she's just not quite there yet. And he notices this, so he calibrates and he continues with the vibe. Okay, so the next shit test that he actually faced was the age one right there at the end. I'm 29. Wrong. I am so much older than you. You're in your 30s? I just turned 30. So you're, you're, what, six months older than me? Yeah. It turns out that she's only 30, so she's not that much older than him at all, right? It's just a shit test to see how he would react. And girls throw this one out all the time, especially if they are a little bit older than you. And you're going to come across it uh, pretty much in almost all of your approaches, okay? If the girl is, in fact, older than you. And, you know, again, if he started justifying his age, then he would have failed the shit test. But because he just said, okay, so you're, what, six months older than me. And then he just continued with the conversation. Like, like it doesn't matter, right? Um, never justify yourself when you face a shit test. Just, you can address it, or you can ignore it, or you can actually uh, deflect it onto the girl, which is what he's going to do with the next shit test that he faces. And you'll see that in a moment, and I'll tell you about it. Why... Why are you um, trying to pick up a girl in this parking lot? I know I'm cold. I just like your look, and we were making good eye contact for a while. Good Gotta really say what's up. And you wouldn't I'm... I see that. You see that? Yeah, because your arms crossed. Yeah. Yeah, you're like super protected. Yeah, oh, I know. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's not. I'm not used to me. No, I get New it. I get Jersey it. And no, like I get this, it. There's a lot of this, drunken assholes this, out here. I'm I know what it's like. I'm not used to. And like people getting Ubers and like. Were you? Oh, oh, what? Everyone takes the scooters by you, or what? Yeah, people like walk home. Like we go to, s we drink, we walk home. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. What's, What's your, name? your name? I'm you Kyle. You first. You first. Kyle. Yes. Nice to meet you. What ethnicity are you? Ethnicity. Can you start like with a? I know. I'm sorry. With I'm sorry, a, sorry, aggressive sorry, body sorry. language. Like, what is that? <laughs> like, I said you're cute. I said you're cute. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Okay, this is crucial, guys. Here, what he's doing. And I know Did you're you trying to get laid. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get laid. I'm going I home tonight, babe. I'm not, Yo, I'm not fucking you. What are you thinking about? I know. Don't think about that. This, this face right here, I know. These are right okay so in the second minute he faces more shit tests from the girl and if a girl is throwing out shit tests at you like that you know over and over again it's a it's a great sign right it's a great sign that she's interested she's testing your frame and if you can pass these little hoops right without looking needy or without breaking down then you are actually building attraction as you're passing the shit test as he is doing right here uh, so the first thing that happens is uh, he keeps rubbing her hands, right? So, you know, he says she's got goosebumps and he uses that as a, almost an excuse to, to get closer, touch her, make her feel more comfortable and establish that physical contact, which is key when you are pulling, okay? It's key to establish physical contact. Now, uh, she says she's not used to meeting guys like this and he says, I know there's a lot of assholes out here So he is empathizing with the girl and with her situation. So again, he is raising his value uh, The next thing he is doing is he, he tells her his name. So they're starting to get to know each other a little bit, right? Uh, where he's from uh, So slowly he is uh, building the comfort. He is escalating by maintaining the physical contact He's maintaining his frame by passing shit tests uh, his eye contact is fantastic and he's constantly smiling and enjoying the conversation, okay? So he's making her feel really comfortable and good in his presence, which is key, especially when you do a night game. Um, so so he's doing all those things fantastically well. Now, he actually de-arms her defenses when he very playfully says, what's with this aggressive body language? And he almost goes into her, right? Can you start like with a... I know, I'm sorry, with I'm sorry, a, sorry, 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 Aggressive sorry, sorry, body language, sorry, sorry, like, what is that? <laughs> Like, I said you're cute. I said you're cute. I'm, I'm... Yeah. So he's being playful and he actually de-arms that defense that she's having right there because he addresses it, okay? He addresses that uh, that she's crossing her arms and he's very playful with it, right? Now, the last shit face that he faces in this little clip here is, I know you're trying to get laid. And this is where he deflects the shit test onto the girl. And I know you're trying to get laid. I'm not trying to get laid. I'm going home tonight, babe. I'm not, Yo, I'm not fucking you. What are you thinking about? I know. Don't think about that. This this face right here I... so he is actually uh deflecting it onto her like she's the one thinking about it and he's just very innocently coming up to the girl and uh and that is the way that he passes it and again he is not doing it in some fucking beta male uh needy justifying what he's doing kind of way explaining it to her trying to make it logical right he's just addressing it deflecting it onto the girl and then he just continues talking again no my friends are drunk over there where are your friends one of them went to the... This is a really good infield, guys. 
You want to meet my friends already? Yeah. This is moving so fast. <laughs> I don't have my friends What's are with my fucking guys that they shouldn't be with, so I'm not gonna introduce you to my friends. Okay. Oh, uh, then also those. Oh, you're wearing heels too. No, they're wedges. They're not heels. No, but you're like, what are you? Are you five foot? No, I'm five two. Like on a so, good day. That, that was so cute the way you said that. Oh, on a good head. day. On a good day. I, yeah. The shorter the better, baby. Wait, who are your friends? Who's at the car? Where? Rob. Rob. Okay. Where are your friends? It's actually so There's Rob. There's no friends it's here. So Rob. This oh, is your friend? No, I don't no. know those guys. This is your friend? No. I told you, there's two of them. They're drunk as fuck. You're very up. cute. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it here and uh, just address the kiss straight away. So the first time he tried to kiss the girl, it didn't work out because it was a little too soon. He calibrated, stayed composed. And now that they know each other uh, a little bit better and he's, the, you know, kind of just raising this level of attraction that the girl has for him while showing her that he is a really cool guy by passing all these shit tests. And of course, you know, um, the circumstances of this approach help him because the girl is alone. It's around 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. People are going home, right? Uh, so it's that kind of hour where people are kind of just deciding if they're going to go with someone or whether they're just going to get an Uber and go home on their own, right? So the circumstances are helping him and his calibration skills are really, really high. So he chooses the moment very well. So the girl says he's really cute about three or four times by the time that he goes in for the kiss. You are cute. I'm, I'm, I'm You're cute too. You're very up. cute. He doesn't ask if he can kiss her. He just stays silent after she says she, uh, that he is cute and he slowly goes in, right? And again, throughout this entire minute, his body language is great. His eye contact is great. He's smiling. He's not asking any logical questions like, what do you do for a living, right? He's just staying playful. Uh, and that is why this, this works. And of course, she's attracted to him. Uh, so everything is going in his favor. Um, but everything that he is doing is, is to a very high level, very high degree, uh, which is why this interaction is going the way that it is going. Right, so let's keep going. Let's see what happens in the last minute of this approach. Can we get chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. We're going to McDonald's. Let's go. We're going to McDonald's. Go. I'll get Let's go to McDonald's. Can we? Um, do you live My friends are do assholes. Do I'll drive us to go get chicken nuggets. Yeah? Yeah. And I have a hotel, and you yeah, can drop me off afterwards. I'm not trying to like impeach. I'm not. Yeah? yeah. What's yeah. my name? Where's your friends? What's my name? I don't know. Oh, I was gonna tell them to get an Uber. They don't want to go get chicken nuggets. Wait. It's Kyle. Come on. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, ask me again. Ask me again in two minutes. Yeah? Let's go get chicken nugget. Okay, let's go. I'll catch you later. Right, guys. So that's the end of the approach. And just a couple of things here to talk about. Well, after we kissed the girl, he didn't make it a big deal, right? He didn't uh, he didn't address it or anything. It, it just came naturally, right? And then they continue having the interaction. She says, let's go get chicken nuggets. So she is closing him, right? And then she says, uh, you know, I have a hotel. You can drop me off at my hotel. You know, she's kind of trying not to look like, you know, she's inviting him to, to the hotel. So she says, you know, you can just drop me off. And he uh, he kind of helps her out uh, when she's kind of stumbling there for a moment. And he says, yeah, let's go. All right, cool. Let's go get some chicken nuggets, right? So he's helping the girl out. Now, I got an approach where I do uh, something very similar where the girl is kind of stumbling on the clothes. Uh, and I help her out. And I'll link that video and the end of this it's also a very quick approach it's only two minutes uh so i'll link it at the end but basically uh, at the close he's helping the girl he's not making the kiss a big deal he's leading so at the end he grabs her hand and says let's go get chicken nuggets and he just takes the girl and leads right she forgets his name during this part of the interaction and he uses that to get her to chase him what's my name so she is literally chasing this guy at this point of the approach it is masterful guys it is really good shit right here um so uh you know just things to take out from this approach and learn from coach kyle 
I always stay composed whenever you face shit tests. Don't let it affect your frame. Take your time with them. You can either address them very quickly without justifying them. You know, whenever a girl gives you a shit test, you can ignore them or you can deflect them onto the girl, right? So there's multiple different ways. Uh, and he's uh, showed us about three or four ways to pass shit test in just that four minute clip right there. Uh, and again, you know, with, with body language, with tonality, with proximity, because it's nighttime, like I said, the circumstances are helping him. The fact that the girl likes him, again, helps him to do everything that he's doing, but he always is calibrating. So when the kiss didn't work out, he didn't crumble, he didn't apologize or anything like that because he knew that the girl likes him. If the girl felt uncomfortable, she would have backed away herself, but she didn't, right? So he just kept going and kept doing his thing and that is why everything uh, went so well. And the fact that there was no friends to cock block him or to test him more uh, worked in his favor to, to get the pull in, in just four minutes. And that is my analysis of, of this approach. This is what you guys want to strive for and this is the way that you want to interact with girls. Obviously, if this is not your personality at all and you and you have a different personality, there are different ways you can pull girls. Uh, but this is a very high level of very controlled, very smooth game without really doing anything crazy, right? Because he doesn't do anything crazy here. He's just very comfortable. You can tell that he's uh, been in situations like this a lot. So the way he passes shit is this very smooth, very easy. Uh, and he makes game look very easy. Uh, and again, that comes with time and practice and uh, you'll get there eventually as well. The more approaches, the more pickup that you do. That's the end of this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy my uh, my breakdown and my reaction. If you did, leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about this approach from Coach Kyle and uh, your take up takeaways from uh, from his approach. And yeah, if you're new here and you did enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this, uh, then hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, uh, so you get notified whenever a new video comes out, which is weekly. And uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys uh, very soon and check out one of my approaches. Uh, which I'm gonna link right here. So so yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching